Let's do a product review. Alright, to start off with, uh, my batteries died in my stupid uh, remote mic. Instead of recording uh, the whole video over with, we're just going to do a voiceover today. So what we're reviewing is the Pancellent uh, 5mm borescope. This is, I uh, picked this up on Amazon for like uh, 16 bucks. But, uh, you know, with $16 being cheap, uh, it comes with a few quirks. So. Uh, this is definitely a cheap Chinese knockoff and uh, you know, I was expecting it to uh, be a pretty crappy review, but I was quite surprised with the product. Uh, the spelling on the box is absolutely terrible. Boroscope for Android. Three gifts for you. Miro, Hook, and Majit. You know, that's uh, not a good start so far. So uh, let's uh, see how things go on the back. Well. I doubt Android probably authorized this, but they're using uh, their symbol, so uh, let's read on. See what you can see and touch. It's a newest Android camera built in six white LED lights with LED and photo control switch. So far, so good. Focal distance, four centimeters. IP67 wearer proof. I don't know what wearer proof is, but it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, next line, through the distribution, comma, can used the PC with a mirror, hook, or magnet. Okay. The mini USB inspection endoscope use Optelli hyphen Citronic technology to investigate hard to reach area so I guess you can scratch your back with it too uh, it helps to diagnose broken part weld point and machine equipment to save time and in hyphen increase productivity it also can be used in medical one word treatment so uh, you know I don't know if they use voice to text to uh, come up with this but good golly miss Molly um, it's it's uh it's pretty bad so what we're going to do here is open this thing up and uh, see what we got inside this is how the box came where you're seeing it for the first time as i'm seeing it so open her up what do we got okay looks like a warranty card Warranty card says uh, will respond within 24 hours. So what that means is they don't answer their phone. So uh, a few little guarantees there. We'll see how that goes. You got an instruction pamphlet for an Android phone or hooking up to a PC. Sorry, Mac guys. All right, we got our borescope here. It does come with like six feet of cable. So you don't have to have your camera or your, your computer right next to uh, where you where you're working with uh, whatever you're working with whether that be a gun or your uh, your wife's lost, lost uh, wedding ring down the sink drain it's uh, good to work but you got a push button there and light controls on the side it even has a mic you got a USB adapter comes with a mini DVD probably full of spyware so uh, good luck there and it comes with a couple of uh, gadgets uh, You've got a 90 degree mirror to be able to look sideways down something um, that just slides over the end of the camera. You've got a, a rare earth magnet to uh, pull objects with, and then you've got another one that is a hook to uh, retrieve non-ferrous objects. So that's what's in the box. Uh, let's get this thing hooked up. And before we do that, uh, let's see how this thing measures out. It's supposed to be five millimeters. So we're going to get the calipers out. We're going to convert over to a metric. Uh, the calipers don't like it either because we're in the United States. Uh, no, I don't want to do metric. So up, see, still don't want to do metric. 
So, all right, finally, all right, we relent. Let's measure this thing out. 5.43 that way, 5.44 going lengthwise, 5.43, twist it 90 degrees, 5.43. So, you know, by uh, the laws of physics, it should fit down the barrel. So, um, we're going to try and see how she does. So, moving forward, now let's get this thing hooked up. Oh wait, here, looky here. We got a picture. Is it working? Wait, what happened? What happened? Come on. Are you gonna work for me? Ah, perfect. Oh, wait, oh my god, it works. Ah, it's a miracle. Ah, let's see. Actually, it only took about 10 minutes of fiddle farting around with it. Uh, realized I had just a uh, loose connection so here we go all right got the M4 out we're going to take it apart what you're looking at is a um, the camera is on my laptop and what you're seeing is what I was seeing on the laptop with the borescope hack, hacked hooked up to my uh, uh, laptop and here's what we're seeing there so it does have a, a right side up going in Let's see here, you know, wait, I probably should have straightened out the cord. Let's try it again. Let's straight, stick your finger in there. Okay, there's our chamber. Will it go? Okay, you can see the chamber. See the neck. Let's go, there's some lands. Voila, down the barrel we go. Sliding it on down, see how she looks. A little bit of dusty, looks like our focal length, it says four centimeters, it starts coming into focus, so about an inch down the barrel. So, going all the way down, 16 and a half inch barrel. Are we gonna make it? We do have a six foot cord, but is it rigid enough to get all the way down? Okay, well, come on, let's go. Adjusting the light, see if that made a difference in the focal length. Um, not really, ended up going back to maximum light. Slide her on down the barrel. Are we there, are we there? Boom, we are at the end of the barrel. That is the uh, muzzle brake coming on back. Okay, we got her in. We are no longer a virgin. Okay, let's look at the chamber a little bit. A little bit of carbon there. No lead, pull it on out. All right, this time instead of going through the uh, charging handle, we're gonna go through the bottom of the upper and boom, straight into the chamber, straight down the barrel. Sliding on down. Oh, computer's not happy with me. Here we go. Any real details? You know, you can see a little copper fouling on the rifling there. No big deal. I'm pretty sure the last time we used this rifle, which has been a good year, um, sad to say, uh, we ran the uh, snake through it and it's gone on the shelf since then. So. Uh, shame on me, all, all the way out, pass through the flash hider. Here we go, grab the tip. There's the cord coming out. Let's pull it back on through. Here, to give you a frame of reference, I don't load 30 out 6, but here's a case I picked up at the range to kind of give you an idea of reference on how it looks here's the bottom of the uh, of the case you can see the primer you can even make out the anvil inside the primer through the flash hole so uh, that'll give you an idea of what our focal lengths are like right there kind of 
looking around the bench here. Okay, kind of showing close-ups. There's trigger group. A little bit of dust in there. Let's clean things up. With the old finger. Moving on in. Let's look at our locking lugs. Oh, here's where I'm gonna get in trouble. Uncle Jim, go ahead and say it. Put it in the comments. You dirty bastard, cleaned your gun properly. All right, there's those M4 feed ramps. Some people don't know what those are. That is, that is them. One for uh, each side coming out of the uh, magazine. So, got some carbon buildup right there. Time to get the old chamber brush and the hoppies out. Going in a little closer. You get with about a oh half inch away and you start losing focus but uh, again remember I'm, that's the whole computer screen so you can make out enough detail there uh, to see what you need to do all right let's see if we can pick up our case neck all right into the barrel we're into our neck you can see where our rim case rim is we don't have any build up there. It's a good thing. I don't cast for 223.556, so I wouldn't expect to have any trying to get a good focus on the lands. That's a little bit harder to do. Imagine if you work real slow, find your focal length, you'd be able to do just fine. But backing out of the chamber, we got a little bit of dust. Looks like maybe some powder residue there. back into the barrel. Now what I was trying to do here was to see um, if I could find the gas port, if it was sharp enough to do that. Uh, going down the barrel, could not find the gas port, but I imagine if I played and went really slow, but for the benefit of this video, uh, we're gonna stop right there. The trial was uh, using a low-powered LED light to flashlight from the other end. What's going to happen? Well, I have an adjustable LED and all it does is just wash out the camera. Um, maybe if you held your mouth just right, hold the camera just right, you'll get a little benefit. But uh, pushing a uh, ship bar putting a flashlight on the other end, uh, really there is no benefit there. So here's a look at some of the tighter areas, uh, looking at the gas tube, a little bit of carbon build up there. Uh, looks like it's time to break this sucker down, just give her a nice deep clean and the scope is showing me that. So maybe you can hear me in this in this video. So where, where am I on this? Uh, little cheap Chinese knockoff of a uh, bore scope at, uh, they say five millimeters, but it's 5.4. Will it work in your 223.556? Absolutely. Uh, will you need to, you know, do a little fiddling and fidgeting with it and getting it connected to your computer? Probably. Is that a $16 fidget? Sure, no problem uh versus paying 35 and 40 bucks for one so uh this will get the job done it'll work in your 223s and uh um, definitely work in anything bigger than that so hop on amazon grab you one enjoy <laughs>